You ever wonder if your Fadal can rigid tap? So I'm still going over some troubleshooting to help me with the, the amplifier faults that I'm getting. But I found this documentation and it got me curious. It's from a Fadal CNC and it just basically how to identify if your machine has rigid tapping. And one thing I didn't know was not all Fadals come with rigid tapping. So I went through this and I want to at least share it to see, you know, maybe someone else could, could benefit from this. But I'll put a link to this in the uh, description below. But it's basically a step-by-step -step guide to check if your machine has rigid tapping. So it basically goes through, you know, several of the things that you need. St the spindle motor with encoder feedback. Uh, you need a spindle drive that can do it. You need uh, a card that can do it the EEPROMs installed on the card, and then all the cables in between them. So the first step up here, or down here, is to check for the spindle card. So if you go down here in your cabinet, slot 14, I don't know if you can see it here. So 14, so this guy, we go down here, it says, what does that say? It says, Look at the bottom of it and see if there's these rectangular plugs. So you can see on mine, I have that. And then they also say, the verbiage says, where is it? Step three. Oh, dropped it. It says, check the, there, there's a multi-wire cable plugged into the upper receptacle. Well, there's no plug here, but there's a plug here. And I went and looked at the actual PDF of this guy. And if you go, I got it still open. In their instructions, they actually have the arrow that says rigid, rigid tapping capable. It actually goes down here. So that looks like mine. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna the first step, I'm gonna say, yeah, that, that lines up to what they say. Um, moving on to the next steps. They say, what's the next step? Um, oh, so that, that's, that's the quickest way to check if you do. Now, I'm gonna show you some other things to look at if you have the capabilities or if you're looking at a machine, maybe you know that's in pieces or not um, together. Uh, for the encoder, if you can check on top of the motor, I check this just to verify. But if you take the fan shroud that's typically on here, you take that off. And then on mine, I had this extra little cover that was sitting up here. If I took that off, and you can see here, I got a little tiny encoder right here. And I actually looked up this number, E2-1250. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. If I look that up by dig uh, US Digital, and that's, that's an encoder. Uh, so that's that's another thing you can look at, and then another thing in regards to what they say. This is on page. They don't have a page number, but this is for the um, inverter. They say if you go back to so you got the cabinet over there, which is where all of your controller cards and amps are and everything. And if you go back to this cabinet, typically you would have a cover on this guy. I got it off, it's sitting over here. But if you look into here, at least on my machine, put this paper down for a second. If you look here, it's a little dark, sorry. But I got this connector and you can see here it says WIRTAC0166. So I actually traced this, you can see it goes here it goes up and it goes up through here and actually I followed it and it goes to that that encoder up there so I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident that I have rigid tapping but I at least wanted to show you guys if you wanted to set it up maybe what it looks like so I got this nine pin connector it goes up to here and then there's these wires you can see the ones that are moving go to these pins, so 23, 24, 25, 26, 
and then 29, and then there's two that go into 30 right there. So that's, that's one extra thing you can look at. And then what's the last thing? Oh, so they also, they also go over what components you would need um, if you wanted to add it if you don't have it. And then here is the plug that I just showed you. They have it wrapped around. And then the last page is, oh, so this is for the, the actual card, the controller card for the spindle. So if, let me close this. So they say, uh, if you look right here, so this is the spindle card and you look right there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it says 1010 tech five E. So they say, I think it's, uh, the, the attack four, five and six cards I think are capable. So mine is definitely, it's a five. I don't know what the E means, but, uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty confident. I, I haven't tried it yet. Of course. I don't know if I do that, if I'll have any issues, but I found this, I thought it was a uh, good, good in, information to share. So yeah. Hopefully this helps you guys out. This definitely helped me out trying to figure out or at least get the warm and fuzzies to say that maybe I do have rigid tapping because that would be one less thing that I would have to pay for or have to install to get this thing to, to be awesome. So now that I've done this, I'm gonna, this is a little sidetrack that I did. I'm now gonna go, go back to this amplifier faults. I gotta call foot all CNC real quick um, to see if you know, I'm doing some stuff right, or if there's something else I could be looking at, but I'm, I'm going down this track and I'm, and once I get this completed, I'll, I'll share with you guys what I did, how I, you know, went about it and what I found. So, uh, thanks for following along and I'll see you guys in the next one.